Hello, my friends. May the peace and the blessing of the Lord be upon you. Good morning. Have you ever woke up where you feel empty, like an empty shell? You have a thousand worries in your heart, in your mind, rushing, and you're worried about so many different things. What you need to do, my respected friends, the minute you get up in order to not fall into that trap is to remember the Lord Almighty God, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The best thing to do is when you wake up is wash your face, your hands, your feet, do what we call a wudu, which is called an evolution. And then stand in prayer. And then after your prayers are done, start reciting the Holy Quran. And once you start to recite, I guarantee you by the time you reach the 50th ayah, as long as you read about 50 ayahs, then you will immediately feel the blessings and the sakina or the mercy of God on your heart. All of a sudden, all that fear, all that hopelessness, all that emptiness and the nothingness will perish and vanish into the wind. You will feel joy and happiness. Why? Because you remembered God Almighty. Because God says, if you remember me, I remember you. Anytime you remember me, I remember you. So we need to remember God a lot. When we forget God, when we forget to remember God, that is when we start to feel fear, hopelessness, it starts to penetrate into our hearts and you start to worry about all your problems. But if you be strong in your faith, you do your prayers, have a good relationship with God, the Almighty shall make your problems look really small. And then you start to work on resolving your issues, taking care of them. Because God has given you the talent, the ability to be able to handle your issues. And remember one thing, God will not put a burden on anyone who cannot bear. So if there are issues in your life, don't postpone them and put them behind you. If there are issues that you can resolve, then go for it. Ask God to help you, but don't be hopeless. Life is about fear and hope, hope and fear. One day is with you, one day is against you. On the days that life is with you and God is happy with you and you're having a great day, be thankful. Be, have a lot of gratitude. But on the days when you have, you know, bad things happen and you're worried, you need to be patient, persevere, and put your trust in the Lord. So my dear respected friends, Next time you feel down, next time that you feel hopeless, I want you to start praying with sincerity and start reading the scriptures. Making it, it's like, the scriptures is like making a, a telephone call to God. It's like the dial tone. So once you start to dial, you will be connected. And then once you're connected, Almighty is listening to you. To pour your heart out. Tell Almighty all your issues. If you are lonely and loneliness is causing you problems, you don't have a wife, you don't have a lot of money, you have a lot of problems. The only way you'll be able to get out of that situation is to ask God to help you. But remember, God says that I will help those who help themselves first. So you need to help yourself. You need to, you need to get up. You need to step up to the plate. Break some bottlenecks, if you will. And you need to become strong and face your challenges in life. But you can go through all of that with faith in Almighty God. Chapter four, verse 162, the Almighty says, 
Indeed, we have revealed to you, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, peace be upon him, as we revealed to Noah and prophets after him, and we revealed to Abraham, Ishmael, Isaac, Jacob, the descendants, Jesus, Job, Jonah, Aaron, and Solomon, and to David we gave the book of Psalms. In chapter 6, verse 84, the Almighty says, And we gave to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, all of them we guided, and Noah we guided before, and among his descendants, David and Solomon and Job and Joseph and Moses and Aaron. Thus do we reward the doers of good. Chapter 21, verse 78. And mention David and Solomon when they judged concerning the field, when the sheep of a people overran it at night, and we were witness to their judgment. Chapter 21, verse 79. And we gave understanding of the case to Solomon, and to each of them we gave judgment and knowledge, and we subjected the mountains to exalt us along with David, and also the birds, and we were doing that. Chapter 21, verse 81. And to Solomon we subjected the wind, blowing forcefully, proceeding by his command toward the land which we have blessed, and we are ever of all things knowing. Chapter 27, verse 15. And we had certainly given to David and Solomon knowledge, and they said, Praise be to God, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Almighty and the Magnificent, who has favored us over many of his believing servants. Chapter 27, verse 16. And Solomon inherited David. He said, O oh people, we have been taught the language of birds, and we have been given from all things. Indeed, this is evident bounty. O oh people, we have been taught the language of birds, O oh people, we have been taught the language of birds and we have been given from all things. Indeed, this is evident bounty. Verse 27, chapter 27, verse 17. And gathered for Solomon were his soldiers of the genies and men and birds and they were marching in rows until when they came upon the valley of ants an ant said O ants enter your dwellings that you not be crushed by Solomon and his soldiers while they perceive not So Solomon smiled, amused at her speech, and said, My Lord, enable me to be grateful for your favor which you have bestowed upon me and upon my parents, and to do righteousness of which you approve, and admit me by your grace into the ranks of thy righteous servants. Grant thou forgiveness and mercy unto me, for thou art the best of those who show mercy. 